During a period characterized by significant turmoil within the British monarchy, one member has quietly risen to a prominent position amidst shifting dynamics and challenges. But before we proceed, please use some time to like this video and subscribe to our channel. The spotlight has increasingly focused on Sophie, the Duchess of Edinburgh, following the passing of Queen Elizabeth and the departure of the Sussexes for a new life in the United States. Sophie has solidified her position within the royal family and earned recognition as a diligent and devoted member of the firm, affectionately known as the late Queen's favored royal. Sophie has taken on an increasingly visible role, attending prestigious events such as state banquets and trooping the color alongside Queen Camilla. Her rise within the royal hierarchy became particularly evident after Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's decision to step back from their royal duties. With a notable gap left by the departure of the young and glamorous Sussexes, Sophie has emerged as a pivotal figure. She actively participates as one of the few working royals under the age of 70, alongside Prince Charles and Princess Camilla. Recently, Sophie was prominently seated next to Emperor Naruto at a state banquet for the Japanese royals held at Buckingham Palace. This placement underscores her growing influence and the trust she commands from King Charles. Despite not being in regular contact with Meghan these days, Sophie shares similar passions for causes such as ending gender-based violence and promoting girls' education. This reflects their shared commitment to humanitarian issues. Sophie's contributions as a working royal have taken her across the globe, from Kosovo to South Sudan, Iraq, and beyond. She has engaged directly with communities affected by gender-based violence. Her visit to Sierra Leone in 2020 highlighted her advocacy for women's rights and her role in promoting peacebuilding efforts. This showcases the impactful work that members of the royal family can achieve on the ground. Royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams describes Sophie as cheerful, dedicated, and unassuming, an achiever who diligently supports numerous charitable organizations without seeking public acclaim. In contrast to the perceived self-focus of Meghan, Sophie's approach is characterized by a steadfast commitment to service, akin to that of Princess and she focuses on making substantive contributions rather than seeking personal recognition. Despite their differences in temperament and approach, Sophie's role within the royal family has been marked by respect and trust, particularly from King Charles. He values her reliability and dedication. Reports suggest that Sophie was once considered by the late queen as a potential mentor for Meghan when she entered the royal family. However, Meghan ultimately chose to rely on her husband, Prince Harry, for support. Sophie, formerly known as the Countess of Wessex, saw her status within the royal household change significantly when her husband, Prince Edward, was bestowed with the title of Duke of Edinburgh. This elevation in rank not only reflects her personal standing but also signifies a shift in the family dynamic and protocols. It particularly affects her interactions with other members. A close friend of the couple noted Sophie's relief at no longer needing to defer to someone who distanced themselves from royal duties and publicly criticized the institution that she continues to diligently support. Married to Prince Edward since 1999, Sophie has played a pivotal role in the family's public engagements and charitable endeavors. Alongside raising their two children, Lady Louise Windsor and James, Viscount Severn, she has navigated ongoing transitions and challenges within the monarchy. Sophie, the Duchess of Edinburgh, stands as a testament to dedication, resilience, and steadfast service within the firm.